So let's talk about adding and removing roles and features. We'll do that from Server Manager. Well, it's one of the two ways we can do it. So I'm going to come down to Manage, and here we have Add Roles and Features and Remove Roles and Features. And notice they're different that I can't add and remove at the same time. I have to do one and then the other. So I'm going to go to Add Roles and Features first. Now, the difference between a role and a feature. A role is a primary function that your server is going to do in your network. A feature is something that's installed on the server that adds additional abilities or features to your existing roles. So for example, cluster server is not a role, it is a feature. DNS is a role because that's a function that it does in the network for the network. So um, installation type, we have two different types, role or feature based installation, remote desktop services. Now this one, the second one, you are only going to use if you are doing a virtual desktop environment. Other than that, everything's going to be role and feature based installation. So we'll do that. We'll pick the server. And if we're managing multiple servers, we will have multiple servers down here that we can select which one we want to add our roles or features to. So we've just got the one, so we're going to go with that. Let's add the DNS server role. And you may have something pop up that has says, you know, here are some additional things you will need for it. Now, in this case, I've done this a couple of times that I've been working with the server. So those things are already here. But you may have it pop up and say, hey, do you want to add these required features as well? Just click Next on that box. So we'll go Next. And we're not going to add any specific features. We do have some notes here on our DNS server. And sometimes for some of the features, you'll have additional things pop up here, additional pages you'll go through with more configuration options for the specific roles. And then we are going to install. And this will start our install process. Now at this point, I can actually, in just a second here, now I can, I can close this and um, I'll be able to track progress up here in the notifications area where you can see our feature installation. And I'll just stay there with that one notification. Even when it's completed, then I'll just be able to come in here and see that the installation was successfully completed. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while, uh, while this installation finishes, and then we'll pick it back up uh, after it's done. OK, so we finished our installation. Progress bar comes all the way over, installation succeeded, go ahead and close that. We still have our notification up here, which then we can dismiss this notification right there. And that gets rid of it. All right, and now I have DNS. And we see DNS pop up here and here, and we see our DNS tool pop up over here. OK, so we just added the feature. Or the, it's not the feature, it's a role. So. Uh, this is one way to do it. So I can add and remove from Server Manager. And to remove, I'd go to Manage, Remove Roles and Features, similar thing, and then I just uncheck. I actually don't want to remove it. I want to remove it from PowerShell. So I'm going to right click and go to Windows PowerShell Admin. Now, in PowerShell, you got to make sure that you do the admin one so you have administrative permissions in PowerShell. So in um, PowerShell, it's not referred to as a role or feature, it's referred to as a Windows feature. So I'm going to issue the command get dash Windows feature. And this is going to show me all of my Windows features and roles. And you see we're going to have an X by everything here that's selected. Now I want to identify the DNS one specifically. I scroll all the way up here, I see DNS is selected, I see the name DNS, and it is currently installed. A bunch of other stuff is listed as available, but not installed. So I want to get just that one. So I'm going to do get Windows feature DNS. And that's going to show me just that one. Now, I can also take that and pipe that to remove Windows feature. And that will take that one feature and remove it off of my system. And you see here our progress indicator, collecting data, starting removal. Now, remove Windows feature by default doesn't take out the admin tools and some of those other features, but it does take out the um, role. And you can do remove Windows feature. If you do get help on remove Windows feature, you'll see the options that will let you take out all of the tools for it as, as well. Um, but uh, this is how we can remove a feature from PowerShell. Now, it tells us here we have to restart the server in order to finish the removal process. 
that's fine. Um, by the way, before we do the restart, let me do a get command for the noun windows feature. And that's going to show you all the things we can do. Get windows feature, add and remove windows features are normally what we're going to do. Install and uninstall are a, the actual commandlets, but add and remove are the aliases for them, and those are the ones we typically use. Okay, so now I need to restart my computer. So I'm going to issue the command restart dash computer, and that's going to restart it for me. So I have removed uh, my role in PowerShell and restarted the computer to finish the installation. So we have now seen how we can add and remove roles and features in both PowerShell and in Server Manager.